Okay guys, I know it's your first day on the job, but this one's a real doozy. You finished? Okay, because listen up, here comes the next part of this sentence. All the Geek and Sundry presents are underneath that tree right there. And we don't want anything to happen to them. Can you handle this? Can you handle this? Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. You guys are gonna stay here. You're gonna guard that tree until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning when I will be back with the office and we are going to open up these presents as a team. So nine o'clock, I expect both of you to not be here. Oh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, this is gonna go fine. Speak to Ryan Green. <laughs> what does caller ID mean? This is so boring. This is so boring. Let's do something else. Oh, let's watch a Christmas movie. Yes. So watch Die Hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch Die Hard. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Die Hard is the Christmas movie. No, it's not. I'm thinking something like, um, oh, like this. Clarence! Clarence! Help me, Clarence! Give me back! Give me back, I don't care what happens to me. Give me back to my wife and kids. Help me, Clarence, please. Please. I wanna live again. I want to live again. I want to live again. Please, God, let me live again. Hey, George. George, you all right? What's the matter? Uh, get out of here, Bert, or I'll hit you again. Get out. What the Sam Hill you yelling for, George? You... George? Bert, do you know me? Know you? Ha! You kidding? I've been looking all over town trying to find you. Saw your car plowed in that tree and thought, Hey, you're mouse bleeding. You sure you're all right? We... <laughs> My mouth bleeding, Bert! My mouth's bleeding! What are you... Susu's pedals. Susu. There they are! Bert, what do you know about that? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> the love of. Alien 30 to dispatch. Channel 30, go ahead. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over at Nakatomi Plaza. Everything here is okay. Over. Jingle bell, jingle bell. What the Christmas shit? See? Die Hard's way more exciting than some suicidal banker. Christmas, baby! Woo! No! 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 You are not gonna ruin this for me. Hey, before the night's done, you and me, we're gonna agree on a Christmas movie. It's gonna be my Christmas miracle. Welcome to the party, pal. Dude, give it up. Never gonna happen. Die hard or die, know what I'm saying? 
No, that's nonsense. Oh, I got it right here. This is classic. Before you go up on the floor, I just want to give you a few tips about how to be a better Santa Claus. Oh, go right ahead. Here's a list of toys that we have to push, you know, things that we might be a bit overstocked on. I think you'll find a great many children have no idea what it is that they want for Christmas, and when that happens, you are going to push the items on this list. Do you understand? I certainly do. So, good. Now, memorize this list, and I'll, um, ah, you know what? Here. Uh, I'll be on the seventh floor. Find me when you're finished. Imagine. Trying to make a child take what it doesn't want, all because he bought too many of the wrong toys. That's what I've been fighting against for years. The way we commercialize Christmas. Yeah, there's a lot of bad isms floating around in this world. The worst of all is commercialism. Make a buck, make a buck. Even in Brooklyn, it's the same. I couldn't care less about your politics. I figured you're here to negotiate, am I right? You're amazing. You figured this all out already. <laughs> hey, business is business. You use a gun, I use a fountain pen. What's the difference? I figure you're here for a hostile takeover, you grab us for some green mail, but you didn't expect some poison pill to be running around the building, am I right? <laughs> Hans, Booby, I'm your white knight. I'm sorry, I must have missed. Damn it, are we in Die Hard again? Yeah, dude, come on, same theme as Miracle on 34th Street. It's just, you know, it's got guns. Miracle on 34th Street doesn't have guns. It's just got that old uh, uh, dinosaur guy. I hate you more than words can express right now. How do I get out of this fantasy? Here, give me the walkie. What am I, a method actor, Hans? Alice, these people are gonna kill you. Tell them you don't know me. <laughs> John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? John? John? <laughs> Jesus, that was dark. Okay, okay, all right. This one is a bit of a stretch, I will give you that. But I think for you, it's gonna be right on target. Who is it? It's me, Snakes. I got the stuff. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. All right, Johnny. But what about my money? What money? AC said you had some dough for me. That a fact. How much do I owe you? AC said 10%. Too bad AC ain't in charge no more. What do you mean? He's upstairs taking a bath. He'll call you when he gets out. Hey, I'll tell you what I'm gonna give you, Snakes. I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. All right, Johnny. I'm sorry. I'm going. One, two, ten. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, you got me in the eye. How? Why? Well, I mean, come on, that last movie wasn't even a Christmas movie. It's a movie in a Christmas movie. I will have you know that Angels with Filthy Souls is the peanut butter that holds the bread of Home Alone together. Debatable. It's really not. It sets up stuff later in the movie. Look, if you're having to cut as deep as angels with filthy souls to win this argument, you've already lost. 
I totally regret. Uh, find it on and talk to Okay, how about... Ralphie, we're waiting! Oh, come on, Mom. Right now! Immediately, my feet began to sweat as those two fluffy little bunnies with the blue button eyes stared sappily up at me. I just hoped that Flick would never spot him, as a word of this humiliation could easily make life at Warren G. Harding School a veritable hell. Oh, I, oh wait, wait, actually, wait, I have a, I have a question. What? Oh, no, not, not you, uh, Jake. Oh, what? Uh, your feet. They're bunnies? Uh, yeah. Okay, but the whole costume is a, is a bunny. Yeah, correct. So are you a bunch of bunnies dressed as a man, or are you a bunny that killed a bunch of bunnies and now you're wearing them? Huh. So you're asking, am I a Voltron of bunnies or the Buffalo Bill of bunnies? Yeah, yeah, essentially. Okay, shut up, Daryl. You look like a deranged Easter bunny. He does not. He does too. He looks like a pink nightmare. Are you happy wearing that? Do you want to take it off? Tell the kid to take it off. All right, you only wear when Aunt Claire visits. Go on and take it off. Whoa. Check on all the others. Don't use the radio and see if he's lying about Marco and find anyone else who's missing. You know, <clears throat> Uh, you know, Bruce Willis even says that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Yeah, well, Bruce Willis also said he had hair in the 80s, so. That's fair. But the other Die Hards, aside from the second one, don't even take place during Christmas. Well, that's because none of them had the spirit of Christmas that the first one has. Also, John McClane's not in any of the sequels, okay? Once he started crashing cop cars into helicopters, he stopped being John McClane and started being some sort of superhero. John McClane is very much in the other pretty sure you're talking about G.I. Joe. Uh, no, I'm not. It's live free or die hard. Really? Yeah, see? Proving my point. Okay, well, well, Reginald, Reginald's in the second one. Yes, yes, and he's the hero of the first one. Finally, something we can agree on. Also, John McClane is no, he is not, and you are hopeless, Mr. Cowboy. You're still wearing your bunny ears. Okay, fine. Uh, what about a Christmas comedy? Dad? 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 What? I can't go to sleep unless I get tucked in. What? I can't go to sleep unless I get tucked in. I am not tucking you in. I promise I'll go right to sleep. <sighs> tickle fight! Tickle fight! <laughs> Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. No. What? No. You can't say the coolest lines in the whole movie. This is not the coolest line in the movie. It is so... It's not even close. This is so typical. First, you don't want to do my ideas, and now you're saying all the cool lines. Dick. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. <laughs> what was it you said to me before? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
If any of you are looking for any last minute gift ideas for me, I have one. I'd like Daryl Crittenden, my co-host, right here tonight. I want him brought here from his happy holiday slumber over there on Melody Lane with all the other rich people. And I want him brought right here with a big ribbon on his head. And I'm gonna look him straight in the eye and I'm gonna tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four-fleshing, low-life, snake-licking, dirt-eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lip, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is! Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? Okay, okay, I get it. No more die hard. Thank you. I now know what is the perfect Christmas movie. Oh, what? What? No. No. Meow. <laughs> 